it going guys Selene HD here today so today we're going to do a video about free antivirus software now I'm on here I'm here at pcmag.com and I'm going to be going over the top three top four excuse me uh, antiviruses that they've selected as being the best um, and how they come up with this you know how they assume which ones are better than others is they do these lab tests Pen kind of penetration tests like as you can see here they see how good it is blocking malware malicious url blocking on demand malware scan access scan stuff like that so you can see all the data they use and as it says here more is better so that's how they come up with which one's better than the other um they also look at how resource intensive it is uh versus they look at uh the price you know how much it would be instead of free to get the premiere etc etc so that's how they come up with their list so let's take a look at the first one avast so with the free avast trial and 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 let me mention this so when i say free antivirus most of them are just trials whether it be 30-day trials or less or more it's a it's essentially a trial to get you to try it out you know and essentially end up purchasing a subscription whether it be to the expert advanced complete so keep that in mind. These are most likely trials versus you download a free antivirus and have it forever. So what you'll see with all these trials is you're getting a basic, very, very basic stock antivirus. Okay. So here, for example, we'll take a look at Panda. Here you see what you get. You get the antivirus for Windows and you get standard technical support. That's it. You're not getting Wi-Fi protection. You're not getting parental control, data shield, backup, password manager, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So you're getting the very basic key antivirus protection. And that's the same with AVG. It's the same with Avast. You know, so with the free one, you're just getting the standard stuff. You're not getting any of this, you know, DNS protection, stuff like that. Um, versus if you get complete, you get it all. So... When you're making this decision whether to get free antivirus or paid, I say it, I would say it comes down to what you do on your computer. Now, if you use your computer to simply go to Facebook, browse Facebook, check IMDb, movie ratings, things like that, then you know you don't need to decrypt your encrypt your data. You know what I mean? You don't need this feature. So purchasing the full version isn't really necessary for you. OK, a free down, a free version would be pretty much all you need, as long as that's all you're doing on your computer. Now, if you own a business, let's say you own a health, a healthcare business and you've got patient information, patient files, Social Security numbers, things like that on your computer, then absolutely you need the complete version of whatever antivirus it is you choose. You need everything. You wouldn't need parent rental controls necessarily, but you need data shield. You need password manager. You definitely need encryption. So keep that in mind when picking which antivirus you want. And honestly, if you do use your computer for a business, I wouldn't even think about getting a free antivirus. I absolutely go with a paid subscription. Okay, so another thing to look at when you're picking an antivirus is how resource intensive it is. Okay, so let's jump over here to AVG. Let's go to system requirements. So they've got the minimum system requirements here, which all this is next to nothing. I mean, any computer you bought within the last, I would even say three to four years, you're going to have that. But the recommended setting, when it comes to minimum system requirements and recommended system requirements, it's okay to go by the minimum, but I, I, let me, I don't know how to word this. The recommended system requirements are recommended for a reason, okay? So it's basically like, yeah, it'll work on the minimum system requirements, but it's probably not going to work that great, and your system will probably run pretty slow. That's not always the case, but often it is. So come down here, and, you know, when you're making your selection, check your, your requirements. Check, you know, say you don't use one of these web browsers, then you're either going to have to convert to using Internet Explorer, which... Please don't. It's Firefox or Chrome. Um, and then, of course, make sure your operating system is supported by it. Now, if you're using Windows 10 like I am, that's one thing you're definitely going to want to check because Windows 10 is still relatively new. Um, so a free antivirus might not necessarily support it yet, although I doubt it. Um, now, if I had to make a selection of 
let's of the of the four avast avg panda and bit defender personally i'd go with bit defender and that's because i would like an antivirus like it says here great if you want strong silent and free antivirus solution i like an antivirus program that uses the least amount of resources as possible but at the same time it has very good protection so that would be my that's what would go into my decision in deciding on a free antivirus now i personally use norton for now that is because it came with this computer um so what i mean by resource intensive let me show you go into your task manager control delete and then processes and let's see let's find norton so Norton's using 9.7 megabytes of my memory, right? And that doesn't even equate to, it's 0.1%. So next to nothing, which essentially this is not doing anything, you know, it is not using a part, it's, it's literally using 0.1% of my disk, okay? And 9.8 of my memory. So not resource intensive at all. Now, let's get back in here. So... Basically, like I said, figure out what it is you do on your computer. Decide if you are okay, if it's safe for you to have a free antivirus, or if you need complete, or not even complete, but a step above. And like I said, that comes down to what you do on your computer. So if you guys got any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more.